All right, guys, before this episode starts, I do have to say that the audio in the intro is completely scuffed. It's like super staticky, so that happens whenever the cable to my mic is a little bit loose, and like obviously I didn't notice. Just letting you guys know that it is fixed throughout every single other clip, but the intro was kind of a long clip because you guys can tell by the title, we rebirthed in today's episode. So if it was just like a normal little update clip, I would probably just cut it out and not upload it, but since it's like we literally rebirthed, I feel like I kind of have to show a little bit of it. It is a super long intro, but I'm gonna cut it down a lot and just try to show the important part so you guys don't have to sit through that audio for long it's not like super horrible it's just more annoying if anything you guys will definitely tell the difference as soon as we switch clips bro so i do apologize about that literally there's like nothing i can do to fix it i'm just gonna cut it down a ton hopefully it's only like maximum two minutes long i don't know i don't even know how much footage i like need to show in that clip that's super important but i guess we'll figure it out so just giving you guys a fair warning every single clip after that is completely fine though and normal the intro got scuffed and i am literally not noticing it till now because i went to edit the video so that's on me i apologize i don't even think we use the rebirth points in that clip now that i'm thinking about it so i guess we should be able to cut down on a pretty decent amount of it so i'm just gonna take a cut wanted to give you guys a fair warning i will see you guys in that clip now guys in today's video we have some big things planned we have made massive massive progress off camera we did basically end up getting a fully maxed out pickaxe we did so much grinding in that video and I've been grinding a little bit more off camera as well. And you guys could probably already tell by the title. But in today's video, we are going to be rebirthing. Now, if you guys don't know what rebirthing is on OP Legends, it's kind of like a prestige system. But every single time you prestige, you get skill points to upgrade basically like a skill tree. If that makes sense and the skill tree has very overpowered buffs especially if you keep going so let's go ahead and throw off this yellow armor right here because if i take a look at my pickaxe bang we have 1.1 million raw blocks of broken which means we can actually come over here and grab ourselves a sapphire set and now we are in the full blue armor set so let's go ahead and get the maxed out level of that now my pickaxe is completely and fully maxed and i believe it is time to hit our first rebirth of the season tyler is making his head over here this is i don't even know what's wrong with this guy bro is this an hcf drop down fam what is going on these guys are wasting time mining in our plot when they could be mining at an actual mine it's kind of crazy i am gonna need like a pretty empty inventory because right after you rebirth apparently you get a 20x orbs multiplier to help you start off so we're gonna be taking full advantage of that as soon as we rebirth we're going in we're gonna get the 20x orb multiplier but i am gonna open up all of my keys okay i just talked with my cell apparently i'm not gonna be upgrading anything in this intro but we do get rebirth catch-up points tomorrow so we might use the points then but basically they told me to save for eternal modifiers which basically means whenever you rebirth i won't actually be losing my modifiers every single time like i could keep these orb boosters if i had eternal modifiers so let's just go ahead slash rebirth we're gonna do it bang rebirth available and it kind of gives you that cool little sound effect i forgot to turn my minecraft sounds up for it, and then bang right here we got a money multiplier. I'm just going to equip that right now. And then we will equip these other modifiers. Bang, PV, throw that in there. I am trying to get through it right away. Because if I look, it should have auto-claimed a 20. Oh, yeah. You've added a 20x or booster with the duration of one hour to your booster queues with a beacon booster as well. So, and then slash crates. Let's pop open all of our crates. See if we can get ourselves some extra orbs. That one got us to 7 million. I guess it isn't terrible, but it's definitely not great, but it's too late now. Let's rip in all of these. Oh my God. It actually didn't fill our entire inventory. Okay. So that got us to 96 million orbs. It's not the best. And there we go. TP on over to the mine. And then we're going to upgrade as many levels of dragon burst as possible. That's a thousand off rip. Let's actually get like 500 levels of this and then the rest straight into dragon burst there we go we have dragon burst level 1500 and i guess we're just gonna keep infinitely dumping orbs into uh dragon burst until this uh player wears off i kind of think that's the only way to go and then hopefully by then we have a decent level of dragon burst and we can buy uh the max speed and upgrade gold rush right away as well because you guys know love me my gold rush enchant it makes a massive difference so guys i'm gonna take a real quick cut again we're just gonna be dumping everything into uh dragon burst right here farmed out another 146 levels in that amount of time i'm gonna take a cut i will bring you guys right back whenever the 20x or booster runs out all right guys we are back and i'm gonna be so honest uh with you i absolutely wasted 
the 20x orbs booster and i know that sounds crazy listen i had a wicked parlay cooked up and uh, it got mad close to hitting i had a plus 23,000 slip cooked up bro and uh, it missed because the Raptors lost to the Chicago Bulls in overtime by one point. But anyways, yeah, um, I mined for maybe 20 minutes and then I just watched the game for the other 40. So that's on me. But if we take a look at chat right now, listen, there's some stuff going on. People are mad. But if I scroll up to right here, look at this. So the rebirth catch up points are about to drop. We just took a vote as a server and 59% of people voted for 20 rebirth points. I'm already rebirth one. So I'll actually only get 10, but I'm kind of waiting for them to slide that over. But an update on the pickaxe, it, it's not good. Okay, all right, this is not gonna look pretty because again, I only mine for 20 minutes, so don't cook me too hard. Bang, we got Dragon Burst 3.6k. Um, haven't moved from Orb Greed, and then we got Scavenger level 400 just barely. Hence why my fortune is only like level 900 and stuff. We barely upgraded that. So that is on me, but I do have 500 million orbs right now. So I think I'm gonna throw like 500 levels into that, and then we're gonna come over here to Orb Greed, lob like a thousand levels right there, and the mine reset. Sick. I have 240 mil left over. I should probably... Oh, wait, no. I know exactly what I should get. We're getting speed. What the hell, bro? I can't believe I almost forgot about that. Boom. Now our speed is max and catch up bonus. We got 14 points. Let's go, bro. It would have been 24, but I already rebirthed once, but that is a W for the catch up points. So now if I do slash rebirth and we take a look at rebirth uh, shop, I believe, right? We come over here. I want to get... Or wait, what is this? Keep pickaxe modifiers. I want this. Oh my God, I can afford it. We can keep all of our pickaxe modifiers from here on out. Bang. Yeah, we're buying it. I got it. Eternal tuning. Keep pickaxe modifiers now. Whenever we open crates, we are praying we get orb modifiers so I can just spam rebirths. All right, boys. W update. Now let's go ahead. Um, We're going to go to enchant upgrades and we're going to get some gold rush. Boom. Best enchant on the server. And now we should really start flying. That was a great update, bro. I am very, very happy with that. I might go ahead and buy some of the new crates that are going to drop. Oh, wait a minute. No, guys, there's supposed to be a new enchant coming out very, very soon. I think I'm going to save orbs for it. I don't know how good it's going to be or what it even is, but I definitely want to wait for that. And the update should be dropping very, very soon. So actually, yeah, I'm going to take a cut right here. We're going to mine as much as possible, save up as many orbs as we can. And then I will bring you guys back whenever the new enchant drops and we will be testing it right now. All right, guys, there is so much going on right now. I don't even know what video or yeah, this clip is even going in, but we just received two gang loot boxes, which is a brand new update that just dropped. We have no clue what's in them. So let's go ahead, drop down the first one, open this thing up, 15 rank ups, two ultra pet bot. Oh my God, their, their cheeks. Wow, they're terrible. Oh, well, that was underwhelming. And where the hell did my second one go? Okay, it like went invisible. Your gang loot box is opening in front of you. I mean, yeah, that was cheeks. I mean, maybe I just got bad luck, but the crate just looks pretty bad. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, don't recommend buying these gang loot boxes. I, dude, did this cost gang points or gang XP? If this was gang points, bro, we're down horrendous. Okay, wait, no, there, it's not there. Shop perks? Ooh, okay, so we just unlocked gang boosts, actually. And then right here, we need another 100 points. Oh, wait, can we just see it? Oh, my God, no. It, we have to buy this as well. We haven't unlocked the boost. But right here, 10% goal acceleration sounds crazy. But unfortunately, those gang crates were absolutely cheeks. They were not good at all. Okay, guys, so the brand new enchant just dropped, but unfortunately you cannot purchase them with orbs so you guys can see it it's bottom right it is the brand new trick or treat enchant i'm being completely honest with you guys i have no clue what this thing does but chance of finding some spooky candy i don't know what you get from the candy now obviously you can win levels from uh like the loot boxes and stuff but you can also get them from relic crate keys right here if i take a look 20 levels of trick or treat enchant now i have um 88 relic keys so clearly it's not the greatest i just opened these things whenever i rebirth so it is a little tough but hopefully we get lucky and get like a little voucher bang open 88 we got one 40 levels of trick or treat thank god i think that is pretty lucky out of that amount of keys so let's go ahead um we just claim this right and it's gonna apply to our pickaxe bang and where's it at whoa 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 okay i mean it says we have 40 levels but i guess it just doesn't actually put it on 
your pickaxe i don't know maybe we need to mine a block uh, either way we're mining let's go ahead mine go tyler real quick i want to see if we can get some candy because i want to see what the hell this thing actually does oh wait bro has it been there the whole time or did i actually have to mine a block i mine the block i see trick or treat it's at the very bottom of the enchants i guess i'm just gonna mine until we get this thing to proc i don't know how long this clip is gonna be because again we only have level 40 out of 200 i need to get my hands on some relic keys immediately oh and right here actually we have a mythic relic cray key to get another jack-o'-lantern loot box i think we're 0 for 2 on the season trying to pull these but let's go ahead and rip it open and four relic keys actually i guess relic keys aren't even that bad of a win right now oh bro and a brand new update dragon burst um the skill is now out i don't know how many orbs that just gave us but that is actually a huge update as well completely forgot about that we're not going to be maxing out the skill in today's video i don't even know how long this video is I'm kind of recording two videos at once at the moment, but I think we're going to go ahead and throw like 500 levels in Orb Greed right there, and then the rest will just dump it straight into Dragon Burst. Okay, guys, we have been mining for a fat minute, and we finally got our first Halloween candy, and I just saw what it actually was. If we take a look, it is this. It's candy armor. So you need to upgrade that enchant if you want to craft a Halloween set. And if we take a look at the multipliers... They're pretty good. Actually, I don't know what a Halloween treat is. That's different from the candy, right? Because why would you need a boost on Halloween treats if you already have the armor set? So that could be something different, but we're obviously going to work on this. The beacon boost is really good. The money boost is the same as a sapphire, but you could just like change out the sets whenever you want to sell. So that is all the brand new enchant is. I need to get like a maxed out level of this thing because uh, yeah, this thing is taking forever. We have level 40 out of 200 and I have one halloween candy i'm not sure i think you have to do slash spooky oh spooky outfit and then this is how you actually craft it or something the server is actually kind of broken right now like all the guis are like tweaking but if we click this it says click here to view the crafting recipe um this uh, i don't even know bro it's a little glitch right now we'll figure it out in later episodes all right guys well obviously the video was supposed to be a lot longer but with the audio little messing up thing, dude, like, it cut the video length almost in half, bro. Like, that first clip was supposed to be super long, but I just cut out as much of it as I could. And listen, something off camera has happened, and it's pretty massive. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of a big deal. I'm low-key in a terrible spot, okay? We're gonna talk about it more in the next coming videos. I'm not sure if it'll be in the next episode, because I was recording another video before this one and i feel like if i talk about it in this episode and then in the next episode it's pre-recorded footage it'll be a little weird honestly bro it has been mad stressful i had no clue that audio glitch was gonna happen and it's messed up a ton of stuff but anyways bro we've been mining and i literally can't get any of this halloween candy i even got trick or treat to level 60 I don't know if you need to get it to like the max maxed out level to actually get candy. So in the next coming videos, we're going to work on trying to get this Halloween armor because I've heard it's actually dumb overpowered. But uh, one candy, it's just it's not going to cut it. OK, I think it's the Halloween treats that are supposed to be good. And the beacon multiplier is pretty solid as well. But we need 250 gems to craft one piece. I literally have one and I've mined a decent amount of blocks. It has been a crazy amount, but it's definitely not looking good. And I just realized we have maxed our orbs pet, bro. It is level 400. I definitely need to try and work on getting some more uh, like ultra pet boxes and stuff because the max I have is a tier six and that is just not great at all. But I guess that means maybe we should start working on a money pet. I don't know because I really don't want to like stop my orbs production by that much. Why the hell? was that so loud bro or maybe we even start on a dragon burst pet like that'll still give me a decent amount of orbs i guess and yo one thing that i haven't checked out like basically the entire season that's actually a massive part of prisons is the xp shop i have 1.3 million xp so whenever this mine resets let's actually check that out and i should probably be using that a decent amount i don't even know how much xp is going for right now but i might want to start buying some of it as well once i get my rank up because we're still only ranked 53k i haven't had to focus money the entire season but uh whenever you guys find out what happens if you guys play the server you probably might know what happened already but i am definitely gonna have to start focusing money soon so listen oh let, let's say this if you guys want to be a part of the versus series definitely hop on and start grinding right now as soon as you guys see this video hop onto the server get to grinding if you're already leveled up that's even better and uh more details coming soon so slash xp shop let's just take a look at this thing i know it does rotate all the time haunted loot box key for 1.8 million xp bro what so this thing rotates every six hours 
they literally have a haunted loot box in here. It is 1.8 million XP, but if you're buying XP from other players, this is highly affordable. I have 1.3 million to buy myself. Right here, proc rate booster. I actually have no clue if that would be good. Um, actually, I think that might even be better than a dragon burst booster, is it not? Because, like, it would go towards your dragon boost as well. For, like, proc rates and stuff, you have ultra robots in here, money boosters. You even got, like, scavenger and supply drop boosters in here, which is a little weird. Definitely wouldn't recommend buying those but right here, ultra pet boxes. For 90,000 XP per 12, maybe that's low-key worth it, uh, like, for me, because, uh, your boy needs some pets, but right now, doesn't actually look like there's anything super worth in the XP shop. Wait, what? Okay, so this Dragon Burst booster is a 0.6x for 15 minutes at 180k XP. I know sometimes Dragon Burst boosters go in the exclusive, so I'm not sure how much better they're going to be than just the regular XP shop. But I'm guessing we're probably just going to wait, hold off, and wait for a better rotation of the XP shop. But listen, guys, I have got to get to grinding. What the hell was that? Okay, yeah, I have to get to grinding. There's a lot of ground that we're going to have to make up. In this version series again more information coming soon as to what happened so anyways that's gonna do it for this episode i know it might be a little short but like i said with the audio glitch bro this episode was supposed to be way longer and listen if you guys want to be a part of the versus series get on and get to grinding as soon as you see this video because your boy is going to need some help but anyways with all that being said hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously Come check out the server with royal.oplegends.com. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode of the Prisons vs. Series.